Actually, never mind. We're on the watch here. We got a snipe. This is lazing fast. Snipe might be useful here sometimes. Other times, like, what, what else do I want to do? Max HP, maybe? It might just be max HP, because the watcher can handle these fights pretty much with no problem. So what path are we taking? Wait, well, these paths are kind of terrible, actually. My dog's names are Albert and Isaac. He's laying on top of a box. I don't know why he chose that spot. And he looks comfortable, but... He's so cute. Albert Einstein and Isaac Newton. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, this path is kind of weird, guys. Maybe we just do a loot like this. I got an idea. I have an idea. I have got an idea now. I want damage. I'm gonna do carve, but I like foresight as well. Okay, this thing is haunting me. This thing is haunting me. Early PP? I could have had this if I took the doubt. How is how is Prismatic Watcher? Is that good? I'm gonna meme. I, I think I'm memeing too hard today. That's. I think Wave is very good removal here. Uh, I can't do both. Do we just take PP? What would I need for my super dog? It would be. Um, No. Ah, ah. Talk about PP. Gosh, I can't. I can do both of these. Maybe PP and wave. Ah. You talked about last time. We talked about PP a lot last time. We talked about a lot of PP. I didn't like it, but maybe times are different, huh? I like the AoE here, but Protect is probably better. I'll change my mind. I'm not going to collect an early Chinese chest. I can't do it. I can't. I'm sorry. It holds a special place in my heart. I can't do it to him. What's the best up? I like this upgrade. Strength, not bad. People mean about tiny chest, but I like tiny chest a lot. I have this special place in my heart here. Do I go for the vulnerable or go for reach heaven for damage? Um, maybe I lean towards vulnerable here. It's just a thing. Strength. We might have to consider, we have pendant, but we might have to consider duplication at some point here in this fight. We have vigilance. Let's do math time. Alright, let's do math. Alright, uh, 
so Penum's gonna be in three attacks, so one, two, three. Okay, that means I can do Smite and Penum, which is gonna be 48 damage. Do I enter by provision this turn? Don't think so. Maybe. Do I have lethal next turn? I have to do this. Ah, what are the odds I have lethal? Yeah. Of days, I don't know. We could just take too much damage and die. I could. Why not do consecrate nibbed? That might have been better. Collect ice cream. Is that a thing? I think it's a Nambo of anything. I don't know. I think it might be a Nambo. Oh, I'm not that big of a fan of collect. This was it feels awkward in practice. It feels slow and clunky in practice. It's just too much delayed gratification with collect. I don't like delayed gratification with this card. I'm a big baby. I mean, I've made this, I made this work before, but uh, I'm sure. What did I do differently? I, I didn't like it at all. Okay. Probably. When something is relegated to Chemical X, it's pretty bad, huh? Sometimes okay with ice cream? Probably not. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna want card draw because of ice cream, but how often am I gonna get to save energy here? Scoured by flames. Scoured by flames. Scoured by flames. That's triple century. Round two.
like strike here. Save it for wheel kick. Just got arc and got destroyed by level 50 raptor. Here? Probably not. Let's restack it. Huge. Hmm. Probably max HP. Do we want to upgrade wave for Act Two, or do we want to lift here? I'm. I'm really. I like lifting. I want, do I need this for to get lethal? The vulnerable is the upgrade going to be important? Is this better for Act Two, or do we want to just lift? I think lifting might be better here. I can't really get that much weakened out of this when it's not upgraded though with three energy. How did what get highlighted? Oh, so if you have channel points, if you look in the, down at the bottom, you have channel points. I'm going to power play here. I don't want to take any risks. Battleheim probably wants to fight by itself. Um, rush down. Battleheim like, like water helps me get consistent block. Are we worried about our block here? How often are we managing calm? Not often. It's probably just wants to fight by itself. I'm going to save energy for Pendant. I think it's more important. I don't, I don't want to waste energy on a strike when I can waste energy on a smite. I just want to double check that what I'm seeing is accurate. Right, that makes sense. Okay, cool. 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 This is fine. Could be worse. Could be a lot worse. We could be dead. Well, unfortunately, we're not dead. We got Pendum coming up, right? That's gonna be big. I have no fear, Pendum's gonna be huge. It's gonna be lethal. Okay, you ready? You ready for lethal? Eruption Pendum's gonna be 56. 56 plus 56 is lethal. You guys were scared. Simple check. Cool. Easy fight. How do you like this ice cream? Nah, I don't know. I like Vault better, maybe. Probably Vault, but this is some kind of energy insurance, and maybe sometimes miracles are never really lost, but we also have wheel kick, so sometimes wheel kick for energy is not bad. Right? Like Vault's quite nice, but wheel kick and miracles plus ice cream maybe is something to think about. It's draws, but I have wheel kick to exist. Oh, come on, guitar. Don't do this to me, mate. Okay, hear me out here. Hear me out here. I'm going to think for an hour here. Yeah, we lost the defects. And I could have won with 1 HP, and I don't know if I win the run, but I made some mistakes today. I'm not playing my best. But we're smiling about it. 
one, one more. True. Okay. These are just flavors here. How do we do hallway fights? Do I like fusion hammer? Pull out a lesser arm from my ass, maybe. I need upgrades. Well, if I go for, if I think if I go, don't take fusion hammer, I'm gonna die to hallway fights. Now I have no upgrades. I can at least lift and I can at least recall. There's that. Two leads. How about three leads? This is not even an elite killer. Battle him looked nice because it wasn't even in my deck. You know guys, this is just think like a block in my deck. Did you guys notice that? Was it just me who noticed that? Huh. My deck is trash. Degrade you on stream? Is this a fetish? Can be always pen nib. I guess beggars can't be choosers, huh? But I'd rather say pen nib or distilled chaos. How do you upload those files without worrying about file size? Well, you just have gigabyte files on your computer. So you just have to have big files on your computer. Um, you have to have hard drive space. Hard drive space is pretty cheap nowadays. You can get terabytes worth of space for relatively cheap. So then you, what you do is you export your videos or whatever to those terabytes and you just have a hard drive dedicated to holding videos. More wraith form, more wrath form rather, with con uh, consecrate or actually should be here. I like crescendo here, but hmm. maybe. What about hand degree wa watcher? Okay, RP Captain's wheel. What if we just do four set, four set waffle? Well, I need blocks. I like third eye. I like foresight. I also like remove. But then waffle doesn't exist anymore. We also have Wave of the Hand for weekend, so we don't want that. Maybe it's just force that third eye remove. Or do we really want Waffle here? Get max HP. Is it force that Waffle remove? I can't do both. I can't do both. I can't do force that Waffle and remove. I can do force that Waffle. Waffle is a pretty decent amount of life right now. Well, that was a pretty decent amount of life. It's 39 life right now. Hand agreed watcher is pretty good, right? Yeah, it is pretty good. That's like wish, but better. You get fatal gold, and that can, that can be my. I can't upgrade it. But it's probably not that big of a deal. Do I have things like. I need things like hand agreed. I don't have like super crazy front loaded. Ah, uh, hand agreed watcher is pretty good, man. I can just remove a strike with it. Remove a strike with it. I don't know if I get my cost back. I might. I think I can get the, the gold back. I can't upgrade it. Keep that in mind. But it will be forty damage. Oh, well, actually 40, 44 damage. Seems quite nice. Hmm. Is four set waffle better? 
This is a very important shot. I gotta think about this. It's between hand grip remove or force it remove. Might be force it waffle. Who's the boss? How are we killing the happy beam? How are we blocking it? I don't think we're ever blocking it. Maybe, maybe, maybe the weekend pops off. Who knows? We don't have the way to kill them. Just say we don't have block. The, right now, the boss looks like a guaranteed death. I do like Foresight a lot, though, for sure. I like Foresight Third Eye and Elite Swapple. I feel like Hand's okay here. I wonder if Hand is the optimal play. And I use that to kill Slavers, and I use that to kill these hallway fights. But I don't have that Wrath Form. My Wrath Form is only one Eruption, so I need to get more Wrath Form. You can always vault for it as well. Do I, wanna, I guess the question is, do I want to play more controlly or do I want to play, um... Get this big front load of damage, which I probably need. Hmm. We have third eye. We have wheel kick. That is... Stacky. Okay, that's a battle him versus a rushdown. We only have one wrath source. That's a rushdown plus. Battle him is just so good. And I can see myself killing every elite now with battle him. Cool. They would like an upgrade. Do I save Pendib here? I don't have any way to get into Wrath Form without it, so I think we do this. Getting Ice Cream is going to be important because they might get mess with my energy cost here. I like Crush Joints and I like Vigilance here. Wait for the hands pretty good here. I like next turn a lot. I like this turn. Quite a bit. Quite a, quite a bit. Ah, uh, I messed up. I should have taken another third eye. Whoopsies. I think third eye was definitely the play there. Too late now, but yeah, took third eye there 100% of the time. Let me do this, I like energy better here. Um, so elites now. Do I do three elites? I think we go this way. Oh. Hey, he's so cute, I know. What's up? Yeah, he's super cute. He likes sleeping on my, 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 my shirt. He likes sleeping on my shirt. Very cute. Okay. Can I undo? Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. No, I don't know. That's not. I don't think it's for sure, but. Pen ups here. Tell you what, guys. Not a bad fight. Oh. 
not a bad fight. Peace like water omniscience. Tough choices. Omniscience, uh, this feels cursy to me. So, omniscience can hit foresight. Can hit foresight. And currently can hit battle him. Battle him is not gonna, it's gonna be upgraded at some point. Is it gonna be upgraded? How are we upgrading? Good question. Good question. Okay. So, omniscience can't be upgraded at the moment. Um, it hits foresight sometimes. That's pretty much it. Maybe sometimes it does wheel kick. Something. It's not the worst. Like water gives me some ability to start blocking. If I end in calm, which I currently only have one calm source. And then this gives me a calm source. Wait, what? I'm confused. I'm confused. Why is she taking a selfie in front of a highway for inner peace? Am I missing something? Omniscient Vault is the worst thing you could do in life. <laughs> it just ends your turn twice. So I guess that works with Ice Cream, right? Wait, that's Pog. Omniscient Vault for Ice Cream? 200 IQ. Like Water would try to help my block situation, but I don't have the ability to en enter Calm. That's Aspire? Oh, I can see that. I can see that. I can see that. Okay, that's Aspire. This looks like a max HP here. I guess Omniscience probably has the biggest ceiling for powers or something. This Omniscience doesn't suck. It is, this is a card. This card. Whoa, what? This beta R is nutty. It's a dead branch, Snake Eye. What else is this? This is uh, Self Forming Clay. What is that? That's super cool. That's up from Clay right there? It's Necronomicon. Ah, oh, true, 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 true. Um. Probably just added a curse to my deck. Welcome to the team, curse. Glad to have you here. Lesson learned. I also should have played a strike before to get pen. That was my bad. Also, we need one more event and we get tiny chest. Huge. Um, how do I get more pen and value out of this fight? Or did I ruin it already? Halt. Is that how our block situation? Is that how we block in this in this fight coming up? If we need a hold. We have one rap source. Are we just a max HP watcher build? Okay, tiny chest. Value. Pog. Oh, that's actually game defining. Yes. Okay. Bottle Flame. I think I'd rather skip Bottle Flame on average because I'd rather draw into other things unless I feel like. I think Bottle Flame, maybe Carve Rally, no, not even. Eruption. 
sometimes eruption with pendant opening hands like eruption opening hand is pretty good sometimes you just kill fights before they even happen but if you upgrade battle him which i don't know how eruption feels bad opening hand but i do feel like opening bottling wrath form could be useful sometimes with pendant existing to kill fights before they even start it up. Whoa. Whoa, 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 well, strikes are really good, man. We have Gyria. Strikes are technically 18 damage in Wrath form. That's no joke. I could rest for Dreamcatcher. It's always a thing. Hmm. Hmm. Probably, honestly, I probably need I probably need that power for the boss. I should have saved it for the boss. The boss, how am I killing the boss? I don't know. We're just, just gonna do battle him stuff. I wouldn't just smoke him down, I guess. That'll be fine. I don't have no upgrades. You know what I want to do right now? Okay, I did too much damage. Can I get pendant, please? Alright, let's do this. Pendant. It's too strong. Pendant. Pendant. Pen nib. Pen nib. Pen nib. Mm -hmm. Oh, lesson learned. It has arrived. Oh, the run is saved. Met Whoa, these upgrades. Cut through fates big. Meditate to. Maybe start entering calm and doing shenanigans. Oh man! How do we get out of wrath form? Do you ever want to get out of wrath form? Yes, we do. But is match it better than cut through fate plus here? Omniscience exists. So what are we doing? Omniscience battle him. Or Mission's Foresight. We just get a whole bunch of smites. I can very easily clark, start clogging my hands. Whereas Foresight, a little bit more control. I would just do the Mission's Vault getting energy. Seriously. What if it draws to Battle Him and I miss it? Uh, look, the way I'm running, we're not blocking Hyper Beam, we're killing this guy. This guy's dying of hyper beam. He's dying with the uh, pendant here. I'm, I'm straight. I think I'm straight focusing him actually. With that being said, maybe I don't even do omniscience at all. Maybe it's just too slow because I have so much damage. Look how much potential damage I can get right now. Omniscience vault is probably the best thing just to get like some nice nah, stupid. Uh, okay, let's see. Battle him seems pretty important. I can't do eruption right now. So. I guess I could have, but it's kind of a little dicey. I want to go full yolo on the bus. What are they going to steal? They're going to steal my lesson learned in my vault. 
one of the two. I really think I had to go full yellow on the bus, but with eruption being down here, maybe it has to take a while. So let's say we just kill all these things. We have enough HP to block that beam sometimes. Maybe getting rid of his artifacts is going to be useful for weakening later on or vulnerable later on, which might be nice. Sure. No, we can do a lot of damage. Rest assured, we can do a lot of damage. Question is, do I want to kill the minions? Like, if I just focus all my damage on the boss, we are kicking ass. Uh, I could do so much damage to the boss right now. It feels wrong to keep these things alive though. It feels wrong. I need to get back into eruption. That's my most important card right now. Another pendant seems uh, another shuriken seems quite good. We have double we have double smites. Block is never what I want. I wanna look for a way to get out. Oh, we have empty fists. Malt's big. Am I ever doing wave? Crush? Can I kill up next turn? I'm thinking I should put out wave, crush, vault. This might be useful. To get back into eruption. Eruption should be coming, right? There it is. Alright, we're going lethal next turn. Do we have energy for it? Lesson learned is not going to be a thing. Do I want to try to go for lesson learned this turn? How much damage do I have? Not enough. Does that make us sad? A little bit. block I suppose okay so if you can't get lesson learned the first time the second lesson learned can got your back or is this just a max HP lesson learned I needed upgrades and maybe that can just help me get upgrades quicker but it's also kind of a curse to see two of these in one hand oh, we do have a lot of strength right, let's take a look at the strength we have three strengths so this is technically gonna be 16 times 5, unupgraded. The fact that I have strength, does this make it worth it? How am I going to get lesson learned if I kill him with Ragnarok? That's the question. Wait a minute, I wanted... Is this Runic Pyramid? How do I forget my hand space with Runic Pyramid? Hmm. That seems like I get too clogged. I can hold on to lesson learned though. That's really important. This is a ruining dome deck. Five energy and go. Five energy, go, go, go. I, I, I think Ragnarok, I, I let you guys debate me into that. I'll do it for chat. Bedroom does hurt Pyramid, but Pyramid helps me doing everything else. It's really fucking strong. You guys want to see dome? Dome with... No block, going against the heart. 
What am I doing? I think I woke up on the meme side of the bed today. Imagine a world where the deck has no block and I can't see what the intentions are. We don't want to talk to the hand or tantrum. Talk to him if we go Ragnarok. Tiny chest value. Alright, how many leads can we do here, guys? Give me a number. I get tiny chest here, I can get tiny chest here, I can get two shops over there, two elites, I need some rest. I'll do this path. First upgrade, I'm a real boy. I have a massive question. How the hell do I kill this thing without dying? I would really like to know. I would really like to know how the hell I kill this thing without getting my booty collapsed. I guess I desperately need eruption. Or I guess pressure points does it, huh? Hmm, any pressure points? Do we just stall for pressure points? Or do we just do eruption and go for it? Take the damage. Now is the time to figure it out. Let's do eruption. Hmm. I guess PV is fine too. Uh, I'm, I think I won't take that much damage though if I do it this way. I won't take that much damage if I do it this way. Mission is probably better because I can actually a mission's block here, and then I could do a smite. So a mission's for block. Not too bad. The ability to enter calm seems quite nice. Nope. RP max HP. Uh, let's see what we can do here. Why did I do that? Wait, why did I do that? Oh, I just killed myself. Just kidding, we're fine. That's great. Right now, is gonna do uh, 16 damage. But I feel like real quick gives me more options to get the hell out of this form. So maybe real quick is better here. Do this. We tried. Did that kill me? Well, we're gonna rest anyways, right? Because we have no, we can't upgrade, so we're gonna rest anyways. We're perfectly fine. This is, this is ideal. We're gonna rest anyways. Perfectly fine here. Okay, where's my lesson learned? I gotta stall for it. Oh, if I had energy, I could have done it, huh? Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Okay, so if I do this, lesson learned kills that guy. Third eye is fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Uh, that could be better. Uh, depends. Ooh, this fight's gonna suck. Hmm. 
So we never want to leave eruption right here. And we're never like we're, ne we're never getting less than in this fight, right? I gotta play battle him, but I also want to play vault here. Crush joints is pretty strong. I want this out of my deck. I also kind of want to get shuriken proc. PB is horrible. I take it just for the memes. Uh, basically, I like to take curses to make my game harder for myself. I don't know. It's a bad choice. It was a really bad choice. It's a tragically bad card for me. <laughs> I still take it anyways. I don't know why. At the, at, the, at the time I took it, it was like maybe okay. Yeah, it wasn't okay. Wait, could I pen the Ragnarok and actually get learn in this fight? Wait, I think I can actually get a lesson in this fight. Uh, I gotta restack Pendip here. <coughs> nah, it's too late now. I, I, should, I was supposed to Pendip right now, but it's too late now. Omniscience is a thing, though. Omniscience is a thing. Maybe Omniscience for Ragnarok is the play here. There's a world. Am I supposed to actually just I'm just Ragnarok for Pendiv? Too late now, right? <coughs> okay, if I Pendiv this, <laughs> I'm getting close to do lethal, maybe, in some worlds. With with I have vulnerable here, so I play pressure points, crush joints, Ragnarok. <laughs> How much damage is that? Wait, can I get lesson learned? Wait, 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 wait. All right. If I do energy pot. Okay, wait, wait. No, fuck, I don't have energy. Fuck. If I did the pen up on the first Ragnarok, I think I can get less than another this fight. Yeah. If I did pen up on the first Ragnarok, I think I could get less than this fight, and then I'm just for second Ragnarok, and maybe I could get it. Unfortunately. I'm weak ways dependent. Crescendo into Wrath seems because I'm only I'm really dependent on just eruption here and Wrath form is really good for us, is it not? Is it a dead draw most of the time though? I haven't. Oh, that looks good. You did it. What do you use for it? I don't think Amazon was better. I hope it stays up there and lasts. I need more Rathform, so this seems okay, but I don't know if it's a dead draw sometimes. Ooh, we got another beautiful tiny chest value. Wait, is this the Kunai Ninja Shuriken? Spiritual is our block. Are we coming back into the game? Are we coming back? I 
What's that message do for us? Next turn, what does he do? Do we do the same old uh, battle him shenanigans or foresight here? Foresight seems kind of eh. But battle him now, I no, no longer have space. I need establishment. I think I enter that form now. I'm forced to rest again. Oh, that's tragic. So if anything, I want to take damage right now. I think we die here. No energy. We got to die here. No energy, right? Maybe Ragnar just carries. I need that one roll again. Is this too much damage dependent? Guys, let me know now. Uh, I think it's maybe just just enough. Now we get less than our next turn. Remove. Get out of phase. Get out of this phase. Get out of this phase. Get out of this phase. Okay, check this out. Check this out. Check this out. All right. We get less than our next turn. You're like, Jeremy, you're taking a shit ton of damage. Sure. I am. But I have to rest. So I take my upgrade and I get the hell out of here. Was it worth it? Probably not. We have to rest anyways, right? So, bottle lightning. If we bottle omniscience, we can... Omniscience first turn for whatever we want. Now, what is that going to be? What's that gonna be, buddy? Huh? Tell him. What's it gonna be? Tell him. What's it gonna be? Bottom missions could pop off. Right now, it doesn't pop off, but it definitely has potential. Tantrum. Ooh, but it's. Ah, that is a wrath source. I don't have to talk to the hand. I have four strikes in my deck. What am I doing with this light, this deck right now? I don't get it. Tantrum is another wrath source, which is quite nice. The gift that keeps on giving. Sure. We have good strength as well. Whoa, our strikes are relevant. Our strikes currently do 24 in wrath form. That last elite kicked my ass. Do I want to do another Lee or do I want to just rest? We're way above the curve in terms of relics right now. This is the most smirky deck I've ever had, which I fear might lose against the heart, so we gotta... So we just had Dying Head was rough, but then Reptomancer, we destroy Reptomancer. And what else? How about Nemesis? We're pretty good against Nemesis as well. Yeah, we want to get less learned as well. There's omniscience. Can I get a lethal first turn? That would be great. I would love that. Alright, what are we doing here?
You know what's funny? I want to keep listening because of omniscience. You ready for this? Are we ready? How much less am I doing right now? 20, but it's going to be 26, 26 times 2 is 52. 52 plus this is lethal. Am I crazy? Or do I just want to draw into it instead? Um, unless it doesn't learn, just gets me the kill, yeah? Did my math right? 52. Why'd you upgrade PP? He had one job. He had one job. Is Mental Fortress how we're gonna get our block here? I'm supposed to do Omniscient's Mental Fortress and that's how we win this game. I had no more waffle. Whoa, 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 whoa. We took PP for a reason, and the reason was to nerf myself. I don't have a good reason. Clockwork Souvenir is huge for the vulnerable against the heart. Done. Remove a strike. Yes. Um, Ancient Tisa can be good. For so, wait. Ancient Tisa ice cream is pretty good because I want to do Omniscience Monto Fortress, right? There's another shop coming up, though. Do we like a second foresight? That might be really huge, right? Let's carry on here. Another shop. Alright, lesson learned here. On every other turn where I do not have... Okay, check this out. You ready? Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, buddy. Mm-hmm. Buddy. Now it's just me and you lesson learned. At least they don't realize that smork is the way to go. Let's not find it. There it is. Got slack like appendage. It's a huge upgrade. Oh, we win it. We can win the run. You guys will see now, but we can win the run. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bag of prep anchor. Oh, my lord. The run is winnable. Ambrosia, this is winnable. It suddenly is winnable by two little things. Mental Fortress, Omniscience bottled. Pellets. Instead of pellets, I actually just clock a souvenir. Pellets doesn't do anything for us, right? I think backer up sometimes messes me up because if it draws into mental forges, I'm doomed. Anchor's probably better. I can play this stuff. Anchor's probably just the best here. Um, yeah, it's probably just anchor here. It's probably just anchor ambrosia. Ambrosia gives me a kill on certain things much quicker. Um, maybe it's remove a strike actually. Maybe it's just anchor remove a strike, and then the deck's good. Rest here. One more, one more lesson learned. Mental Fortress is the play here, or do I want to just. I want to save that for boss fights, but maybe I'll do it for this. Fine. Am I looking at this correctly? What the actual hell are you doing right now? Maybe I should have gone for lethal. See, Mental Fortress was a bait, maybe. I actually don't get out of form stuff. I need ways to get out of form. I have Eruption, Vigilance, Empty Fist, Tantrum. 
Uh, that's it. I need another way to get to calm. Uh, without meditation, mental force is actually not that good. At the moment. I might need a vault here. Oh, let me see. Okay, we're about to get less learned. Okay, do I want to waste Pendiv? Do I want to stack it up again? That might be relevant, right? Swivel? So it was blocked that gives me my attacks. That's super cost sometimes. Sometimes it was okay. Mm, I can just be here. Wallop! Wow! Alright, game's over. If I don't win with this deck, if I don't win with this deck, let me let me put something on the line here. If we don't win with this deck, uh how do I Put it. Let me see. I will gift package of shops. Well, so as far as mission is concerned, do we really feel like mental forces is the best mission target? Or do we want to save munitions for like kill, like Ragnarok kill? Mental Fortress could potentially be a really good target, but I literally just go into eruption and get out maybe like once or twice over three turns. I am not a stance swapper. Foresight's interesting, but that's, that's a hell of a lot of scrawl. Maybe that's. Mm. I'll be. Come on. What else are the missions good for here? The Metal Fortress feels like it's the, has the highest ceiling here. Alright. Here we go. We have lethal soon. Do I not have foresight?
I need energy. If I do wave vigilance uh, tantrum, I have 24 block from that. 24 plus uh, 9 is 33 block. I can get weakened off. If I get weakened off, then how much damage am I taking here? I'm doing good, Maddie. What's up? And what is? How you doing, uh, kid? Yeah. I get weakened, and I also get 24 block plus something else. But I don't know how much energy am I left with? I'm F with. Uh, enough energy to do other stuff like double defense and kill next turn. Or am I crazy? Double defender, or do you want to just keep attacking? Be energy for next turn. Wallop coming up. Background hmm. is too slow. I don't have energy for it. Wallop's more important. I would really like to get Kunai in here, but. I need energy. If I can get double form, this deck wins. This deck wins Act 6 with energy. If I have double form, I get Act 6 out of the way. No questions asked. Without double form, I'm barely struggling to hit Act 4. Ah, I need energy so bad. Or something for Mental Forces to pop off here. Man, oh man, oh man. Not like this. Not like this, amigo. Uh, I think we just added an extra leap in the next boss fight, maybe. Why'd you have to create that card? I don't mind it. It's fine. How much is he gonna do right now? Do pressure answer for the lethal. Is this spiritual vigilance here? Trump. 
I need to stack a pen up somehow. Uh, we're not gonna have pen up stack for the next fight. This deck is a smart deck and a half. Bag of marbles? Hmm. Is Mental Fortress yet again the best thing or is this a vault? We can kind of scale up a Kunai Shuriken, but if I give him strength, the multi gets absolutely wreck me. I basically have to be so fast that this guy, he dies before he even has a chance to multi-hit twice. That's how fast I gotta be. But then I also gotta kill the cultist. There's a world where I killed both phases of the boss before I even touch cultist. Now how does a man get that fast? He needs... Devil form. Or divinity. I don't have those things. So since I'm not fast enough to kill both phases before I kill the cultist, which sounds insane, but it's possible sometimes, um, then... We're stuck with being terrified of his strength. Um, Pimento Fortress has like 12 block every time I change, which if I can change twice on a multi-hit turn, that's obviously fantastic. Now, how do we maximize that? Things like Empty Fist, Tantrum, and Vigilance become high priority. What's the other thing I can do? Double Foresight might be really good, but... If I do double force it, that means I can do wallop and spiritual as often as possible. If I do wallop spiritual as often as possible, I don't think I lose either. So maybe double force is the play. Yeah, it is a ceremony dagger. I'm just grinding eight cards a turn. Wallop and spiritual never I never lose. I don't have energy though, guys. I don't have energy. You guys realizing I don't have energy here? Hmm. Sure. Double force. Maybe double force is better. Six strength. Double force is better, right? It means we're not going to block this turn. We just whole vault and get out of the deck. Is it worth it? Yeah, it has to be. Alright guys, I gotta try hard for this. I have to nut up and shut up here. This is, I have to try really hard here. They're trying really goddamn hard right now. Thank you. 
A strength should be the death of me, isn't it? Fist, right? Just empty fist, and we're fine. Empty fist is better than anything else here. So, like, yeah. How much longer? I got you. All I need is empty fist, we got this. I guess I should have empty fist first. We're gonna do spiritual here. Spiritual is very committal. Spiritual is very committal here. If I find empty fist, I can just vault. If I just vault now, I can empty fist this next turn. For sure. This spiritual first. This spiritual even necessary. When it's all said and done, I'm gonna have twelve. I had a wallop, so it wasn't necessary. Special was not necessary there. I gotta kill him before the next multi hit. He's special for the next multi hit. I think I should do vulnerable here. This kills him. And then we have we're in a rush we have wallop next turn. And then we have spiritual coming up. Optimal or small brain? I could keep stacking Kunai and Shuriken here to make the next phase super easy. If I go right now, I don't know. I, if I just keep stacking Kunai and Shuriken, I can just get a lot of excess energy and just win that way, right? 
But ne the mo next multi hit does it kill me? But maybe spirit shield? Nah. Uh, this is that Kunai, I'm sure I can hear. Sure. He's doing 42, right? But less if I do. Can I get away with. Can I get away with. Uh... Yeah. But how do I get out of this phase next turn? I want Weekend for the next phase? Okay. What's up, buddy? I don't want to take damage here. I think you're supposed to take damage here. I want to stack up ice cream, but I also want to free up space in my hand. Uh, the thing is, I'm trying to stack up Kunai Shuriken for the next phase, but I could just end the fight earlier, maybe. Is that enough? A 7 string 40 stairs. That should be enough, right? Do I want to stay in that from here? I didn't want this one learned. I redo re into it? That's crazy. Force it, but not time. It was Rico. I was stacking. I was stacking dexterity, and I I I repeat like seven thousand times. <laughs> I'm stacking Kunai Shuriken for the next phase, so that I can just have more dexterity and energy efficiency instead of pushing the fight too quickly. Maybe empty fist and wallop. Wow, uh, is the wallop better here? 38, yeah, it's better. I don't drop onto it though. The next turn's huge. The next turn's really big. Third phase? Did I say something for third phase? Wait, what? Who said third phase? What? Oh, you're talking about Rag Lethal right now? Oh, for second phase? Oh, that's what you're asking about? I want to get lesson learned. Ow. Oh. 
perfect. Pen abstract and lesson learned. Omniscience, that's a great upgrade. I don't know how this deck's gonna do it. I don't know how this deck's gonna do it, but we're gonna make it happen. I, I, I think Mental Fortress is probably better for the heart. We gotta decide. Another cut the fate here? No. All right. Fasting with this would have been potential. Uh, miracles versus dexterity. Let's take dexterity for the fight and carry on. Just take dexterity and carry on, or do you think energy is more important? You guys are being way too much. I gotta take you guys out. All right, guys. Pendulum stacked, but sometimes pendulum about nine is actually worse. But look, we have a pendant right now with omniscience. So if we do omniscience, technically, omniscience, Ragnarok, it is currently doing 18 times 6 and then 9 times 6. So in total, that's. It's a lot of damage, but it doesn't kill any of them. At least, not guaranteed. So, what do we think is the best initial targets then? Do I save it for next turn? Do I save it for next turn? Maybe we save a mission for a wall up or something like that. Mental Force is better for the heart, right? Actually, I think Double Force was actually better than anything else, right? Wait, okay, I think Double For Force is better than anything else than Mental Fortress. Didn't Double Force just kind of carry me in the, the last elite, the last heart, uh, last boss fight? Mental Fortress is only good if I have ways to get out, and I don't really have that as often. I think Force is simply better. Although we need energy, and Mental Fortress is energy efficiency. How are we doing in this fight, though? Is it just Vault now? Is it force that again? Taking damage here. I can save a mission for wallop or like Ragnarok at some point. Can I do this fight? How is the best way to lethal here? Don't you just pierce with Ragnarok right now, Pendip? Ah, uh, probably not. Get double foresight. Ah, uh, can I cancel? Fuck. I meant to be spiritual first. Maybe this is better. Hold on to spiritual for next turn. Yeah, wave. We have third eye. We have vigilance. That's not bad. We do crush, crush wave, and then some blocks, or do we want to hold on to these cards, maybe? Sure. We have Mental Fortress and Ragnarok. Okay, Battle Hymn is nice. I don't know if I can afford to play in it here. We have four set again. I don't need that as much. I think I need to cut through paper more here. Uh, this might just be a. This 
this be a vault turn? I have to vaults here. It might be a mental fortress crescendo vault. And next turn we are in wrath form to start off with. Doesn't matter. It gives me more card draw if I do crescendo first now. And now we want lesson learned. Okay. damage I can't even do spiritual now I need for a wallop is it supposed to be a wallop I'm supposed to do vigilance Tantrum. Uh, cut through fate wallop into empty fist. So just wallop straight up. seem like it. Was it ever lethal? Probably. I don't know. It's a tough fight. Could play this fight wrong, maybe. I don't know. I don't have the energy to do the things I want to do here. I think it's got next turn. I have Pennant and Ragnarok coming up. Do I pay for that? I'll just go for it now and try to get lesson learned and then I do um the problem is uh, I think we have to go for lethal here instead of lesson learned. We do have wallop wallop does exist. New pen up wallop. Do I do too much damage though? Let's do lesson learned here. Oh, click thorns are really good here. Empty body's probably really good. That makes mental fortress a little bit better. So if I if I can get out of Wrath or Calm a little bit easier, then that gives me, with Double Mental Fortress, that does give me a lot of block. I think Double Scry is just too good. I think Double Scry is too good, but Empty Body is a block card that also sometimes procs Mental Fortress. I take a lot of damage that fight though. We have Wallop in hand, we have Vigilance in hand. That makes Mental Fortress a little bit better. So Double Mental Fortress now has Empty Fist, Tantrum, and Vigilance in play, whereas Double Foresight is good, but let me put it this way. If I just play both my Foresights, I have the same as Double Foresight, whereas Double Mental Fortress gives me a lot of block here. Yo, thank you, Jazzbeth, for the 200 bits. Heart stands no chance. Well, my philosophy here is that if I get to my deck and play both Foresights, it's as if I play Double Foresight. The only thing is Omniscience gives it to us right now. Buddy. Yeah, my headphone. 
There you go. Alright. Doggy aggro. Okay, yeah. So, I had to get through my whole deck before I could find the force set, but once I play that, we're pretty good. Whereas, if I do double mental fortress, it's giving me quite a bit of block currently with Vigilance, Tantrum, Empty Fist, and stuff. And that can hold me over until I get my four sets out, and then we just win. Or do we just like double four set to get to everything quicker? So double four set manages the statuses, and then we get to like our weaken earlier, mental fortress earlier. Maybe we just like double four set. And if we play the second four set, we even have um, scry for eleven, which is probably even crazier. Mental fortress is obviously quite nice. Uh, next round, how do we are we blocking? Okay, next one we should be fine. Horn cleat. Just now, so that the beat doesn't bother me later. Get away with the hand. We got vault. Play Battleham. Is Battleham even worth it in this fight? Or does it clog me too much? Vault now. <sighs> Do I vault now? Maybe I, I can get uh, vulnerable on him for pushing for damage by vault now. Getting vulnerable is quite nice. I don't have to talk to the answer, Ragnarok's not as good. I think vulnerable is pretty good here. Save this block for next turn with like empty fist and empty body. So we get the stuff out of the hand. <laughs> it's just hilarious. This shit is absolutely hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, that's just hilarious. <laughs> that's just absolutely hilarious, man. I like Kunai proc here, but I don't want to take damage. Yes, I see that I can get rid of a 15 cards out of my opening hand. So let me uh, uh, let me just ex take that exactly. Um, we need energy. I don't want to take damage, but we do have. The ability to take some hits here and maybe get Kunai proc. Let's 
Pretty sure this should be blocked here. Wallop's good. I don't have energy for Wallop. Probably not now. I do Vigilance, then I can do Wallop and this Crescendo Wallop just carry me. 90 damage. That does close to 90 damage. I get 30. Six block minus four. Thirty-two block. It's pushing damage. I could also just wait. I want to do all this. I just want he's attacking me, of course. Do you want to just do Tantrum Ragnarok for like super crazy damage on one turn? Just dump all the damage to Tantrum Ragnarok. So that currently is. I have six strength, by the way. So Ragnarok does damage caps. I want to save energy for next turn. So I'll, I actually just want to save energy for next turn because I'm going to need it for for the attack. And we could push damage. Oh wait, can we just get two turn lethal? No, I need to get at least three turn lethal, but that's possible. Um, I want to see something. That's pretty good. Next turn. Can we just push for damage here? Or is every this is a wasted turn of no damage if I don't do it? If I don't do damage, I can also just do a whole bunch of damage when he's attacking me and also get block. <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking stupid. This shouldn't be allowed. It's stupid. Ragnarok's nutty damage right now. <laughs> uh, I think we're winning, boys. Uh, the question is, how do how do I want to win? In what in what manner do I want to win? It's just so funny to me, man. Oh my god, it's just so funny to me. Let's run around this guy. Oh no, I want to lesson learned. No, how did I ruin the BM? How did I ruin the one BM? Well, that was there. I just get the BMs to not do it. So they have the option to not do it. And one job. GG. Alright. I didn't think this run was gonna win. What the fuck happened this run? What put it over the edge? How did I win? Why is the watcher so crazy? <laughs>